All right, good evening. This is the Board of Selectmen's meeting for May 14th, 2015. Uh, our chair, Tom Hurley, was not available to be here tonight due to a prior commitment, but um, we had a deadline coming up for the Yulin Rink that we needed to schedule this meeting for, so we have an abbreviated agenda tonight, followed by an executive session. Our first item is to confirm our future meeting dates, which are June 2nd and 16th. Next item is approval of current payroll and vendor warrants. So I'll propose a motion to approve all current payroll and vendor warrants. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Citizen speak? There's no one here tonight for citizen speak. Uh, boards and committees, we have a, appointments to a couple of different boards and committees. The first one is the Conservation Committee Commission. So I'd like to propose a motion to reappoint Judith Darrell Kemp and Michael Blute to the Conservation Commission to serve through May of 2017. I'll second the motion. Any discussion? Then all in favor? Aye. Aye. The next one, we have, uh, the, the name is actually the Swift Hat Shop Preservation Committee. And I'd like to propose a motion to appoint Margaret M. Dre, 36 Elliott Street, Apartment 41, to the Swift Hat House Committee to serve through March 2016. I'll second the motion. I'm glad we have another member for this committee, I think through your efforts, David. She's an excellent choice, and um, she'll do a fine job on that, uh, on that committee. Excited to have her. Yeah, that's good news. I, I know she attended that meeting that the the um, friends of the Swift Hat Shop had a few months ago, so uh, I had a chance to meet her at that meeting. So this brings us up, I think, to seven members, which is a good number for a committee of this Perfect. size. Okay, so any further discussion? Then, if not, all in favor? Aye. Aye, unanimous. The next item is the an appointment or a series of appointments to the Max Ulan Re Max Ulan Rink Lease Committee and approval of a charge. So I'd like to propose a, um, a motion to approve the following charge for the newly created Max Ulan Rink Lease Committee. And it's the Max Ulan Skating Rink Lease Committee. It will be appointed by the Board of Selectmen. This committee shall draft a proposal for operation, maintenance, and management of the Max Ulan Skating Rink under a 25-year lease from the Department of Conservation and Recreation. The committee shall consist of seven members serving one-year renewable terms appointed by the Board of Selectmen as follows one member of the Board of Selectmen, two members from Curry College, one member from the Board of Park Commissioners, the Town Planner, one member from the Milton Youth Hockey, and one member from the Commonwealth Figure Skating. The committee's charge is to draft the following for consideration by the Board of Selectmen. A proposal for a 25-year lease to operate and manage the rink, a long-range capital improvement plan, a long-range pro forma cash flow analysis, Establishment of rate structure for ice time, rental fees, and public skating fees. Recommendation on how the rink should be managed and operated, and recommendation on how the rink will be man maintained. I'll second the motion to approve the charge. And I know Tom Hurley spent a lot of time working on this charge, and also the town administrator in drafting it, so uh, it's good to see this moving forward and getting a committee in place to, to deal with this um, long-term lease issue. So, uh, any discussion on the motion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, why don't I offer the next motion since we'll be appointing Selectman David Burns to the committee. So I'll move that we appoint Town Planner William Clark, Selectman David Burns, Park Commissioner Chairman Thomas McCarthy of 15 Fairfax Road, Richard Sullivan from Curry College, Robert O'Connell of Curry College, and Peter Mullen, 36 Edward Avenue, to the Max Ulan Rink Lease Committee through May 2016. At a future date, we're going to have a representative of the Commonwealth Figure Skating Committee to be appointed. And I'll second that. Any discussion? Thanks for your willingness to serve on this, David. I think this will be a good committee. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think that it consists of a lot of good members, and I think that we'll be able to get some good things done on this. That's good. By Tom's leadership. All right, then all in favor? Aye. Aye. Our next item is an ex a short-term extension of the contract with Curry College for the management of the rink. Okay, so I'd like to propose a motion to authorize and sign a second amendment to the contract between the town of Milton and Curry College for the management and operation of the Max Ulan Memorial Rink dated July 24, 2013 that extends the end date of the contract until June 2, 2015. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And that's our next meeting date, June 2nd. 
we now have a couple of, or I guess we just have one. I thought we had two on the agenda. One day local licenses. No, one we have just one. Just one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's the We Are Milton Celtic Sunday, and I'll propose a motion to approve the request for a one day liquor license from We Are Milton for a fundraising event on Sunday, June, 8, June 28th, excuse me, 2015 at Hutchinson Field from 1.30 to 8.30 p.m. contingent upon receipt of the necessary insurance certificates. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next is a, an employment contract with the town accountant, Amy Dexter. So I'll propose a motion to approve and sign a three-year employment contract for town accountant Amy Dexter. I'll second the motion. Any discussion or does the town administrator want to add anything to this? Yes, Madam Chair. This is a three-year contract with your town accountant and it's for uh, fiscal year 16, 17, and 18. And it's a 2% wage adjustment for fiscal year 16. We've also added into this contract a performance review, which was um, previously not in this contract, but we will now, on April 1st of each year, the town administrator will sit down with your town accountant and perform a performance evaluation. Right. Okay. Um, I, I'd like to say that, uh, you know, I, I've had a couple chances to talk with Amy, and I find her to be incredibly professional. We're very fortunate to have Amy uh, as a town. Um, I think that she's very knowledgeable in what she does, and I think she's going to be a great asset for the town moving forward. Absolutely. She's very hardworking, too. She is. She's made a lot of changes in that office and really streamlined a lot of processes over there. She's a great asset. That's great. Good. I'm glad we have her staying on. So uh, we have a motion that has been made and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. We're already on to the town administrator's report. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have anything to report this evening, Madam Chair. Uh, Chair's report. I'll skip over and let's go to the member's report. Anything to report? The only thing I wanted to mention was um, we just finished town meeting and I'm sure many people who are watching this watched town meeting and saw that we accomplished a lot of big items, but in particular, thanks to the town government study committee, they had six articles that went forward. One that they co-sponsored with us, which was for the stronger town administrator. And I think that was a good example of something that it takes a while to put together and move through the process, and it, we're still going through the process because now we need the home rule petition to go to the legislature. But that's something that was a big policy goal for the board and for the town government study committee, and that was a good result to get that approved and, and through. And I think it'll be on to uh, onto the next stage and hopefully on to updating and modernizing the town's management through that through that article. Mm -hmm. So I think that, so that was a, gr a good thing. The other thing is, um, the other article that was a very significant step was Tom Hurley's debt service article for some capital projects. I was recused on that while we were meeting on that during the last year because it involved Bond Council, whom I work with. But Tom put in an awful lot of time on that topic. And I think it's over a year ago that he first came up with the idea and went through lots of putting together spreadsheets and formulating the concept and talking with town council, bond council, a lot of town administrator, a lot of different people. But that's another example that Leroy Walker probably put it best when he said this is a big idea and this is what we really want the Board of Selectmen to be focusing on some of these things now that we're going towards the stronger town administrator form of government. So just thank Tom for his creativity and all of his hard work on that issue. I think those were two of the bigger mm -hmm. picture items that we put forward, but still there were a lot of other important things such as the audit committee and the home rule petition for the liquor license, some other big things that were done at the town meeting. That yeah, and, and I think that we have to thank all of our town meeting members for participating and playing a, such a significant role in, in some of these, um, these articles that, 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 that got through because I think that, um, you know, especially with the ones that you mentioned, um, it's going to give a good opportunity to, uh, to really plan, um, you know, down the road, you know, five, ten years from now. Um, and, uh, and put the Board of Selectmen in a place where it is in a policy and advisory role where the town administrator can get a lot of these things done that we need to get done. Uh, yeah, I agree. And, and sometimes we get some criticism that, some of it justified, that things move very slowly and people don't always see progress happening, but we always have to remember it's, government tends to move slowly because there have so, to be so many channels to go through and it is a deliberative process. And, but I think uh, at least on, on a few of those items that we passed at town meeting, they were very positive steps for the town going forward. Yeah, and thank, the town administrator had a hand in all of this, so 
thanks to Anne Marie and her team for all of their efforts. Okay. The only other thing I have to report is we did attend the Conservation Commission meeting regarding the Henry's project on Tuesday evening, and we gave a status update. We have July 31st as our deadline, so um, we're continuing to work on our demolition permit. There was a decision against the developer on the site plan development, um, but it was, a, it was a long night. But uh, we're more to come on, on, on that topic as we go forward. Uh, if we, no one has anything else to report. You know what, I, I do have something. I want to just mention that, um, you know, something pretty good is happening tomorrow from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. where the school uh, athletic director, Larry Rooney, and also the Parks Department and Parks Commissioner um, convening a meeting on youth sports night uh, at the Tucker School. So any young families mm -hmm. that are watching that want to learn more about what is out there. I think it's a great, um, a great start to streamline between the schools and the town and, and something that I think that when going back to the strong town administrator and something that I think that some towns that, that have found, you know, with a strong town administrator, they've been able to work really well with both the school and municipal side. And I think that it's, it's, that's a nice, nice breath of fresh air to show that uh, both the schools and town are working together on something to, uh, to, to uh, bring value um, to the residents um, and really kind of um, communicate all that is out there and to, to answer questions um, to really, you know, not only build a, a great um, system, but uh, to be, um, you know, just to work together, I think, I, to, mm -hmm. to simplify it all. So I think it's nice. It's, uh, so that's tomorrow from 5.30 to 7.30 at Tucker School. And we'll mention one other item. I'm glad you jogged our memory of that. Um, as we were walking in, we were talking about the Memorial Day observance that the town has. and. That's a very nice event. It's obviously it's on Memorial Day. I forget the time of day. It's in the morning, but I, I don't. 9.30. 930. Okay, right here at the gazebo, where the parade starts and walks to the cemetery. Uh, the high school band and other youth groups and town officials are involved. And then there's a very nice ceremony at Milton Cemetery. So it's something that people, if they're around that day and looking for something to do, they might like to come out and stand along the parade route or go to the cemetery and hear the speeches and the different tributes that are that will be had for a moment. And you'll be Absolutely. speaking for the board. And, and I'm excited about that. My, uh, my grandfather, Arthur J. Smith, is buried in Milton Cemetery in his career, uh, Navy, and, um, and my mother's cousin, who's buried there as well, was career military as well. And so, you know, it's something that I'm very proud of and, and, and excited to participate in. And I'll be recruiting those young families because everybody does like a parade and, mm. and uh, maybe we can we can really put a charge into some of these young people that get involved and, and learn more about the history um, and the people that did serve in this town. Yeah. It's, it's a very nice event and one that I think not everybody knows about so worth attending if people have the time. Do we have anything for citizen speak response from the prior meeting? We had none tonight. Uh, if not, future agenda items. I don't have anything to add for tonight. I don't either tonight. Then we are at the end of our agenda, and I'll move that we enter executive session to consider the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real property, zero Central Avenue, believing that having this discussion in open session would have a detrimental effect on the bargaining position of the body, and to return to open session to adjourn. And I'll second that. So, uh, Mr. Burns. Yes. And myself, yes. So we are now in executive session.